All right, so in this video, we are gonna be looking at doing some web scraping with JavaScript. So what we're gonna be doing is looking up, say some news articles or whatever kind of article we want, and we're gonna scrape that uh, content from there. And then we're gonna analyze it using uh, another package. And we are gonna see how positive or negative the article is. So we're gonna check the sentiment. So this is the first package we're gonna use, and it's called sentiment, sentiment rather. Um, and basically it's just going to label each of the words that we scrape as either a positive um, word or a negative word. And it goes from a scale of uh, one and uh, one to five on the positive side and uh, one to negative five on the uh, negative side. So it's gonna rank all that, so then we can get a kind of cumulative score and see how positive or negative the article that we're looking at is. And then for the actual scraping, um, we're gonna be using Puppeteer, uh, which I think I might've done in a video in the past. So basically Puppeteer is just gonna allow us to um, kind of mock out what we would do manually by going to the actual site and uh, exploring it that way. So we can do all that through code. So those are the two packages that we're gonna be using and uh, let's start coding here. All right, so let's get set up. All right, so I just have a terminal window open here and I'm just gonna go uh, make dir and make a directory and we are gonna call it what? Let's call it uh, scraper analysis maybe, sure. And now we have that and we can CD into that and then we can just open that up in our VS Code. And then once we're in here, I'm just gonna open up my integrated terminal right here and we're gonna need to install a couple things, those two packages basically that we have. So let's come into here and the first thing we're gonna wanna do before that is just go npm init uh, and we'll go dash y and that'll skip all these uh, questions. And then we're gonna wanna install those two packages. So let's come back over here and get those. So this first one, we're just gonna wanna get a uh, puppeteer. So we can come in here and paste that. All right, that's good. And actually we've got to install this one too. So let's go there. All right, so that is good. And the last thing we're gonna do, we got to create a file here. So we can just go touch and we'll just say index.js. Uh, and this is where we're gonna put all our code. So that'll bring that up there and we can make this a little smaller and open up our index.js. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is bring in Puppeteer. So let's go const and Puppeteer and that is gonna be equal to require and we're gonna say Puppeteer right there. Okay, so that's good. And the rest we can bring in in a second. So let's come down here and we're just gonna create a function. So we're gonna go const and we're gonna call it uh, sentiment data. And that's gonna be equal to, it's gonna be an async uh, function here. And it's gonna be an arrow function as well. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go const browser. And that's gonna be await. Uh, wait and puppeteer and dot launch. So this will launch our browser for us. Okay, and then the next line, we're gonna go const and get the page here. And this is gonna be where we get, uh, create our new page. So we'll go wait and we will go browser, which we just created, dot new page. And we'll call that there. And then here is where we're gonna put our, um, this is where we're gonna get our URL. So we're gonna go await page dot, uh, and this is the functions called go to. And this is where we are gonna get our URL. So the URL we're gonna wanna get right now, well, get whatever you want really, but let's come up here and let's just go new uh, York Times and let's just get an article from there. But really you can, uh, get whatever you want. So let's click over to here. And let's just click on anything. We'll just click on the first thing we see. 
and we just want to copy over this URL. So we're going to copy that over, come back, and we're going to paste that in here. Okay. And then below this, we're going to go uh, const, and we're going to call this text, and we'll go equals await. A little laggy here, uh, await, and we'll go page dot dollar sign eval, which is also a, a puppeteer function here. So, and then we're going to go and we're just going to get everything on that page to start with. Okay. So the dollar or the, uh, the star is going to be everything and we'll go at the element and we'll go L dot inner and we'll go text. So we just want to get the inner text. We don't want to get all the, uh, the different, uh, HTML tags and, and whatnot. So below this, and all we want to do is uh, go console.log, and we are going to log uh, that text there that we just got. Okay. And the final thing we want to do is to close the browser. So we'll go await, and we'll go browser, and we will go dot close here. And we want to call that. And then just below this, we want to actually call our function. So we'll go sentiment data and make sure we call it. Okay, now that's kind of all we're doing for our uh, puppeteer functionality. So let's come up here, raise this up, let's uh, clear this out a little bit. And we're just gonna go node index.js uh, to run our function. And I'll take a second here. All right, so you can see this is literally all of the inner text from this article. So that works perfectly. Okay, so let's uh, bring this down a little bit. All right, so now the second part of this tutorial, we're gonna try and uh, analyze this text to see if it is uh, a positively or negatively uh, written article. And we're gonna do that by uh, using that same, um, that same package we just talked about. So let's go and we'll bring it in here. So we'll go, sentiment and that's going to be equal to require and that is going to be sentiment okay great and then below this we're going to go sentiment lowercase and that is going to be equal to new sentiment and that is going to be did i spell everything right there yeah so that's how we start that off and then the only thing we are going to do is come down below here. So where we got all the inner text from everything and we're going to get the result from that. So we're going to go const, not const, const result. We're going to go and we are going to say await and we're going to sentiment dot analyze and we're going to pass in that text and we forgot to go equals here. So make sure we have that. Okay, uh, we'll save that. And then here, instead of pinching out the text, we're gonna wanna see how it analyzed. So we're actually gonna console.log the result there. Okay, so I think that's all when you really needed to add. So what's happening here is we instantiated this here and then we come down, we're gonna use that by uh, calling it here with, uh, with the analyze and passing in the text that we got uh, right here. And again, we're just gonna console log it out here. So if everything worked okay there, this should work. Let's clear this out a bit. Okay, and we'll run that again and see what we get. All right, so that seemed to work pretty good. So let's take a quick look at what we get back. So this is all the uh, sentiment package. So we have a comparative score. This is if it's positive or negative. So anything negative would be a negative article. And comparative just, I think, takes uh, all the words divided by the positive or negative. So again, um, anything on the negative side would be a negative article. Anything on the positive side would be positive. And then what it does is actually shows us the breakdown of how all this uh, is working. So it shows you the words it's counting and which ones are positive, negative, and the scores um, for each one. So these are all the different tokens that were being analyzed. Uh, these words are, uh, these are all the words that it's uh, analyzing. 
these are the positive ones these are the negative ones so yeah that's kind of a cool breakdown now i think in the future we might try to add on top of this uh maybe a front end so we could kind of visualize some of this maybe break down some charts or something but i think that would be a cool thing to add so maybe look for that in the future um but yeah that's about it so if you like the video go ahead subscribe or give it a like if you feel like it and uh if you don't don't but uh until next time thanks for watching